In this video, I shall demonstrate how to create screencasts. To create screencasts, we need special software. There are many software available that you can use to capture the screen and make videos, but one I preferably like is called Cam Studio, so open up your web browser and do a search for Cam Studio. Once you search, you shall see the link to camstudio.org. Select that and scroll down till you find the download section. And then you want to download Cam Studio. And while you're at it, you also want to download the lossless codec. Once those items have finished downloading, feel free to install the application and the codec. The installation process should go fairly quickly. Once the installations have finished, we are ready to create our screen capture. So launch Cam Studio and we shall create some custom settings. We shall choose a fixed region. And under options, we can choose to enable audio or not. And we will want to enable auto pan, allowing the screen to follow our mouse. And we can set the auto pan speed to something between 50 and 100. And we will also want to minimize the application on the start of recording so we don't see it in our screen capture. Once you have made your preferred settings, click the red record button to record your screen capture. In this sample capture for this video, I will just open up a Windows Explorer pane, show what's inside of it, and close the window. And to stop the recording, all we have to do is go to the Cam Studio icon, left click, and select stop and we can name our video. After the video is done rendering, we shall see it playing in the Camp Studio player. Now, as you see, our video is not top quality notch for YouTube. So we shall edit our video using the free Microsoft Movie Maker software to make it look a little bit more professional. So open up a web browser and do a search for Windows Live Movie Maker. and we shall get to the download.live Microsoft website where we can download a custom installer to get the newest version of Windows Movie Maker. Once the installer is finished downloading, we can just launch it and follow the installation process. Please note that this application takes quite a while to install. Once that's done, we're ready to edit our video. So launch the Windows Live Movie Maker, and we shall drag our video clip into our video and clip view that's on the side. And for the simple video, we shall add a title. In this example, I shall type in my video screencast. And for the sake of it, we shall also add credits. You can put whatever you want here, but for me, I put my name and I put my website. There are many other features in Windows Movie Maker that I have not mentioned. In time, you can look over them and try them out yourself. Some features that you will want to check out are background music, text captions, audio enhancement, and custom effects. So Windows Movie Maker is actually a very powerful piece of software to edit movies. Now once you're done editing your video, you'll want to uh, publish it. So select publish movie to publish it to YouTube, or we can just save the movie to our computer. 
I chose the Windows Media Video file, but you can choose any one that is optional. And then it will render our movie. Please note that this might take a while depending on how long your movie is. And that is basically it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.tk. And if you want to, give me an email at admin at thehackersjournal.tk.